And dropping. What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to make the world's largest bouncy ball. Must do this! Before we start anything, for you guys who don't know how to make a bouncy ball, let me show you. So I have here this bouncy ball toy or whatever. Let's get it out of the box. Are you kidding me? This small piece of paper plastic thing was inside this giant box. Come on, man. So, making a bouncy ball is extremely simple. Um, all you need are these bags of crystals. It comes with these spherical things, right? So you just wanna clamp it together just like moi. The next step's pretty simple. Just pour the crystals in here, and then put it into water for 10 minutes, and then it should become a bouncy ball. Now just grab a cup of water, set this down here for 10 minutes. All right, so after 10 minutes, by the way, I put a Gatorade bottle just to keep this thing downwards. After 10 minutes, it should be completely done. Wow, and there you have it. Your very own bouncy ball. Wow, it actually works. Wow, look at that, check that out, wow, look good. I got it, wow. So that's how you make a regular bouncy ball. It's time to make the world's largest bouncy ball. Let's do this! So the process is very simple. I have these two hemispherical styrofoam containers. What I'm gonna do is put it together. I'm gonna cut a hole on top right here, like this little mold thing they had. And then I'm gonna fill a whole bunch of powdered crystals in here. And then, let's see if it works. I'll, I hope it works. Let's do this. Okay, so I duct taped them together. And uh, let's just cut a little hole on top right here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh yeah, fresh. Cool. All right, let's start pouring all these powdered crystals in here. So we have some orange. We have some orange. Wait, the first one was pink. We have some yellow. We have some gray. We have some uh, blue. We have some uh, purple. And last but not least, we have some uh, pink. I already know that this is going to be a super colorful bouncy ball. So uh, let's get to it. All right, here we go, and it begins, and now. All right guys, after pouring this for about an hour, as you can see, it's filled up all the way to the top. You can see all the little um, crystals over here. So um, what I'm gonna do now, if you can see, the mold for the smaller bouncy ball has a whole bunch of holes so the water can get right into it and then kind of just like solidify it a lot evenly. So I have here a little uh, skewer, so I'm gonna just carefully poke some holes right through it. All right guys, after putting a whole bunch of like random holes into the styrofoam, it's time to soak it in water, but obviously, this thing's way too small for this big thing to be in here. Also, I don't have enough pots big enough to carry this thing. So I guess we have to go to my favorite place. So here we are, I'm just gonna put this right here so it doesn't tip over. Honestly, I don't know how long to wait. 10 minutes is for that small ball, so I guess we gotta wait like a whole day for this one. There we go, dropping it in. Now we just wait a whole day. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, 24 hours later, I'm wearing the same clothes, it's cool. I reuse my clothes, but anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's open it up. As you can see, the top of it, it's very solidified. And uh, let's check it out. I really hope this worked. Whoa! Whoa! This honestly looks like a, a science project. Like, this is the core of the mantle of the Earth. That is legit pretty sick, awesome. Whoa, guys, check this out. So there's a little hole right here. Cause I think only the outer shell kind of solidified. So I kind of want to just put some more so the inner shell can, look at that. Like the, it's, it's soaking up all the water. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yo, the bottom part looks pretty legit. Look at that. Whoa, see this rainbow? There's a rainbow right there. That's, oh my. And whoa, look at this. The world's largest bouncy ball, right here. Wow, is it bouncy though? <laughs> no, it's legit not bouncy. It just feels like a medicine ball. Hold on, here we go. 
It's not bouncy though. Oh, I guess just a little bit. Let's let's wait for it to dry. Actually, you know what? It's nighttime right now, so tomorrow, when it's all daylighty, I'm gonna drop it off of a balcony. So um, yeah. All right, guys. So it's the daytime now, and uh, let's take this big baby outside. Actually, I'm just gonna drop it off of my balcony. I want to see if it actually bounces, or will it collapse, or crack, or explode? We're about to find out. But anyways, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go outside. Alright, so I'm here on my rooftop, so I'm gonna just throw it down and see what's up. Ready! And dropping! And dropping! That was so cool though, that was so cool! Alright, let's go downstairs and check it out. Let's see, let's see the damage it has done. Well, alright. Well, apparently, um, only the outer shell hardened during the whole creating the process of this bouncy ball but if you can see inside there's still a whole bunch of like little bouncy ball crystals left so that's probably why it didn't really bounce too high but other than that it's still looking pretty good I mean the only thing that's cracked is this part all right let's let's just drop it one more time all right wow that just, that just straight up looks like nerds rope like a whole bunch of like crushed nerds. Awesome, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video of this bouncy ball. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Let's get out of here, I'm not supposed to be here. I made a mess.